Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a very special FNAF news video talking about Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. I'm always super excited when we get to talk about some FNAF Plus because it's a project I'm very much looking forward to, and I'm always happy when we get more news on it. But just in case you forgot what FNAF Plus exactly is, let me remind you. FNAF Plus is being developed by Phil Morg, aka Fiznom. It's a part of the whole Fazbear Fanverse initiative, alongside Pop Goes and Candies and a few more games. And it's technically an official remake, or I think as Phil likes to say, a reimagining, of the very first FNAF game we got all the way back seven and a half years ago in 2014 with the first game. And earlier this year we got quite a few teaser videos showing off the character designs and also a few locations in the pizzeria, as well as a few mechanics like the ghost walkie-talkie that I forget what the actual name of it is. We also saw on the camera feed we got a little attention icon, maybe they shut down our cameras, maybe that's an animatronic on the cameras. And today we have a few more mechanics and also a very special character to talk about in this video. So let's not waste any more time if you're excited for FNAF Plus and the info we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's hop into it. So for the first time on this channel, let's talk about Foxy's brand new design for the game we got on Halloween. Yes, I'm still very late to news. And here it is. This is FNAF Plus Foxy, or Foxy Plus. And he looks absolutely terrifying. I know some people don't like the designs of the characters for FNAF Plus. They think it's kind of forcing creepiness a bit too much, but honestly, I freaking love them, especially Foxy. He just looks so, so creepy, all torn up, and the endoskeleton hands and feet. And I know Foxy looks like that in base FNAF 1, but I mean, this, <laughs> this is just crazy. And also, what a few people were wondering, what's up with his eye? I mean, we did see Foxy in Breaking and Entering, the sixth teaser for FNAF Plus, and we were all like, Wait, is that actually Foxy? I mean, you can see, you know, the snout, the ear, as well as the eye patch, but what's up with his eye? And yeah, as you can see from the model, his eye is completely white. And luckily, someone brought that up in the Q&A that Daco had with Fiznom on his charity stream, and this is what Phil had to say. Why are Foxy's eyes white? Is he blind? There is maybe, possibly, an actual reason in the game for why his eyes are white, mm -hmm. and it may be tied to something in Breaking and Entering that nobody has talked about, and I'm kind of losing my mind that nobody has talked about, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so Phil's saying there's still more in Breaking and Entering that we have not found in the couple months that it had been out at that time. And so, of course, naturally, we went back to breaking and entering. Now, unfortunately, we didn't find anything right away, up until a couple days ago, where Kane made a tweet saying FNAF news. A new secret has been discovered in the Five Nights at Freddy's Plus short video breaking plus entering. At around 5.33, Foxy can be seen hiding behind Bonnie on the show stage, staring directly at the protagonist. And then this is the image that Kane supplies. And as you can see, yeah, that, that does look like Foxy back there. And you can double check going back to breaking and entering the scene where he's investigating, right? This protagonist is investigating Chica. It glitches out. You can still, all right, there's his arm. So he turns, shakes it to try and, you know, fix it. And right here, Bonnie's foot. You can see, again, the arm, and you can see a bit of the foot as well, a bit of the leg right here. Now, it's very difficult to see, but, you know, here's Kane's image again. Yeah, Foxy's there on the show stage hiding behind Foxy looking at us. And if you remember, a while ago, Phil released kind of a joke teaser of a bunch of random memes and images that were mechanics for the game. And Foxy was, you know, this cute little cartoon fox going, shh. And at the time we thought, all right, maybe his mechanic has something to do with audio, but I think now it more so has to do with a fox being quiet because he's stalking his prey. In this case, Foxy stalking us, the protagonist. And again, this isn't the only time Foxy can be seen in breaking and entering. When we're looking at our little sheet of paper about what we have to do in the pizzeria, we look up. And right here is Foxy. And apparently, according to Kane's tweet, Foxy is in every major shot in the video. So he's doing a lot of lurking. And earlier on in the video, at about 1.59, when we're looking at the backstage camera, we can see him run past the door. 
Right there. You see him. Look at him. Look at him zoom. He's zooming. You can clearly see it, right? That's his body, his leg, his arm right here. That's Foxy. And so Phil jokingly replies to Kane's tweet, saying FNAF fans have gone soft on secret hunting since sister location, lol. Now what's interesting is that someone replied to that tweet, saying, was this the thing you were disappointed fans hadn't found yet when you mentioned it on Darko's stream? And Phil said no. So we still have more searching to do. However, Phil did supply a brand new image of Pirate Cove and once again Foxy hiding in the darkness, saying fun hashtag FNAF plus dev fact. Did you know that after the protagonist of breaking and entering enters the restaurant, Foxy can be seen stalking them in every single scene until the office reveal. Here's a high resolution image of Foxy stalking his prey in Pirate's Cove. And yeah, that, that just looks absolutely terrifying, which makes sense. Because in Pirate's Cove, right, in the video, breaking, breaking and entering, Foxy's not there. Now, apparently, I think he's right around here somewhere in the shot. I don't know. But now, that's kind of it. I mean, we can keep looking over shots of Foxy, but if that's not the secret Phil was talking about, then what is? Well, Kane made another interesting observation. At about 11.26 when we're in the backstage area, and you know, goodbye to Springs Plane, we're freaking out. You can see it's right around here, there was a CCTV camera, right? And we know that because of a earlier on shot, right? This is the exact same location it should be in. So it should be right around here, uh, but it's not on, right? There's no blinking red light, it's not on. But later on in the video, you can see it is on. So once we're freaking out, right, we, we investigate the suit, it falls over with a dead body inside and all the masks start looking at us. Now it's on. Now we've caught somebody's attention. And Phil confirmed that this was the detail. This was the detail. I was waiting on four people to find. Only took you guys four months, but congrats. So now the question is, who's watching us? Is it Foxy on the cameras? That seems weird. Is there someone else in the office? I mean, we did go there earlier and it was empty. At least that's what it seemed. Foxy was there, but again, it seems weird to have Foxy on the cameras. I don't know. What do you guys think? What's going on? Is Foxy on the cameras? Is someone else on the cameras? Whether it be human or animatronic, who do you think's on the cameras? Cause I honestly have no clue. And also keep in mind, this is the detail that apparently is the whole reason why Foxy's eye is white. For some reason, again, I, I honestly have no clue, someone or something on the cameras watched the breaking and entering Protag die, and that's the reason why Foxy has a white eye. I have no clue. Again, tell me what you think in the comments, because this is very confusing, but also very very intriguing. And Phil followed all this up with a tweet saying, happy that it took a while for most secrets in FNAF Plus videos to be found. I worked hard to fill the teasers with tons of details and info for people to sink their teeth into. Big and small. Secret hunting, that was one of my favorite parts of being in the fandom years ago. And I mean, yeah, this is just absolutely crazy. I think what Phil's done here with not only FNAF Plus as a game, but also the teasers by themselves has just been a great experience. Even if we're a bit rusty on our secret hunting, it's always great to go through videos and find awesome details like that. It really brings me back to those old days in the FNAF community, and I think that's what Phil's been aiming for with FNAF Plus and the whole advertising of the game and the teasers and the details and the secrets, all that stuff. Phil, you're doing amazing. I think last we heard, Phil had taken a break from developing on FNAF Plus for, you know, porting Flumpties, and also I think he took the majority of October off, which, you know, completely reasonable. He's been working his butt off recently. So we're just gonna have to wait and see what we get next for more updates regarding FNAF Plus. But I am very excited. Tell me, what are you guys most excited for about FNAF Plus in the comments down below? That's gonna do it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.